Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the live lounge for the finals of the Moda Super Series. It's week nine of 12, and by the end of play this evening, we'll know three quarters of the field for Champions Week in mid-October. And to make sense of all the madness that we've seen this week and all the darting drama there is to come, I'm happy to say the three-time Lakeside champion is alongside me. Good evening. Glenn Durrant. And Glenn, this is what all the players have worked for all week to be here tonight. Yeah, it's been a very insightful... Indeed. We started on Monday with Group A, and it was Danny Lauby that won through. And this 1-5-2 finish, which we're going to see here, Glenn, against Sebastian Biowetsky, what a moment that was. It's a great moment also. Well, that was how Group A ended then. So Danny Lauby was the victor ahead of Nathan Gervin and Sebastian Biowetsky. It really was a table of two hearts. And Jamie Kelling, Stefan Bellman, Alex Small were placed into Group C following the conclusion of those three days action in Group A. And Group C was our focus in the afternoon sessions on Thursday and Friday. It was our monk in the end who got his way over the line and you were mightily impressed with him. I just think he's a, he's a major, can't take your eyes off him. Lee Cox was the other player to get through in that table and you're really, really happy for him after everything he's been through recently. Sometimes you can sort of, I hope he does well. Well, Group B was the attention on Thursday and Friday evening. It was won by Glenn's fellow T-sider, Colin Osborne. And this was how he did it in the end. This 1-2-1 one, one checkout being a real highlight for him. You know He's going to be joined in Group B alongside Scott Williams and Sebastian Biowetsky. And Nathan Gerver made a real charge on Friday, but it was a similar story to Group A where he just missed out in the end. It was interesting, right, that's for sure. So that is how the players got to this stage. Let's see how tonight will shape up. We begin with a group stage between the six players split into two groups of three. The top two will then progress through to the semi-finals and the final. Glenn, we're having a look at the two groups on your screen now. Let's have a look at group one. Danny Lauby, Lee Cox, Scott Williams. That is really tough looking. Good I mean, luck to the boy. Well, let's see the statistics then from our players who progress through to this point on the final slide. We can see the averages there, Glenn. Who stands out for you? Scott Williams is at night, made the best man win. The winner will progress through to Champions Week in October. Eight players have already qualified for that. Let's have a look at who we will see in mid-October. It began with Robert Owen in July. Conan Whitehead got his way through last week. Anyone stand out for you? Anyone you could pick out early to win? All Let's look ahead to tonight's action then. We kick off with Danny Lauby up against Lee Cox. And early on this evening, I caught up with the American as he looks to join the Champions Week field. And that was Danny Lauby speaking to me earlier on this evening. He takes on Lee Cox, a player who has got a fair bit of vocal support behind him this evening. But with Danny Lauby, he's had a couple of days off. Could that be a help or a hindrance? He said he's been on the board. Well, Glenn, I am not letting you go without making a prediction for the evening. Who is going through to Champions Week? Well, all the well, Glenn, thank you very much for now. He's going to race down to the commentary box to join Chris Mason. It's game one of our evening. It's Danny Lauby up against Lee Cox. Let's head over to our master of ceremonies. A very good evening to Owen Binks.